talked about demos, and, and I want to talk to you in a little while about, um, about the ceramic tile and installation problem and how you're de dealing with it, but it seems like one of the ways to deal with it, and you had mentioned demos, I mean, there's ongoing demos here on a, on a stage, and then there's, I can't tell you how many, uh, how many exhibitors are demoing, and I think a lot of that is products and techniques that improve the efficiency of the installer which I guess puts more money in their pocket and gets jobs done fast. Yeah, there's, there's no doubt about it. And I think other trade shows are doing the same thing, at, at, and I think it's very important. So I think that you have the exhibitors who are doing a lot of demos on their own, in their own space, and, and, and that's an, there's an educational component to that, absolutely. But there's also a proprietary component to that. They want to promote their system and their technology, and they have every right to do that. I think what, what helps us uh, take a step back from that a little bit at NTCA and why we're real active here is that we can do it without looking at systems or specific products and we're talking more about let's 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 go to the beginning a little bit on on, on the actual you know how you how you spread your mortar how you you know how, how you uh, mix your, your these materials and and look at it from a pure mechanical standpoint and you're right we're we're doing demos uh, on the in, in on several different stage levels we're going from as basic of, of uh, uh, strategies as proper layout all the way to the large format gauge porcelain tile five foot by two foot panels we're we're you know we're we have a responsibility uh, at NTCA uh, on the labor side to uh, ramp up and escalate the uh, training because Dave the reality is, is the technology is changing so fast that the way that people learned how to set tile 20 years ago has to be rethought. So we're having, frankly, just as much change. We now realize that we don't just need to train apprentices in their first two or three years, but we need to train people that have been out there doing it for 20 years. Well, and that's a new thing. Yeah. The fact that there are crowds, any demonstration in this, in this hall, there are crowds, and I guess that speaks to the hunger on the part of, and again, I would say most of these are older. I mean, they don't look like they're apprentices to me. I'm sure they're in the crowd, but I think there's a hunger at journeymen that, uh, you know, they want this information. They do, and, and the reality is is they have to embrace this if they're going to be doing the work that's available to them. And if they want to get paid the way they feel they should get paid, then they have to be trained in these in this type of technology and these products. So, And there's, there's more components even than that. There's different tools. There's an investment in tools you need to make in order to be able to do that kind of work. And then you have to, not everybody can come to this show, as you well know. So a lot of these people are here getting this training and then going back home to make sure that they, they incorporate this and start training their crews and their teams, their superintendents, their lead installers uh, on what they learn.